one thing I could say about Moi is that it, it equips the learner with the out-of-classroom skills. In that faculty, we got exposed to skills and knowledge that make a good journalist. Now we are declared the center of excellence for um, phytochemicals and uh, textiles and energy in Africa. Our first project to think about, the gates. Moi University was established in 1984 by an Act of Parliament as the second public university in Kenya. This was on the recommendation of a presidential working party, chaired by Professor Collins Mackay, which had collected views from Kenyans about the desirability of the same, courtesy of his deep and altruistic concern for an interest in the advancement of education at all levels in Kenya not only as a professional teacher but as Kenyan's head of state, President Daniel Toroi teacher Rap Moi pioneered the idea of a university in a rural setting. He, like most Kenyans, had good reasons for this. Among them was the need to decentralize higher education from Nairobi to other parts of the country. The former president felt time had come to create another university away from an urban environment. Not surprisingly, Kenya's second university bears his name. The university was therefore established with an intention of making it a science, technology and development-oriented institution which would focus on problems of rural development in its training and research programs. The first group of students, 83 in total, were admitted on October 1, 1984 through a transfer from the Department of Forestry of the University of Nairobi, which formed the initial one faculty in 1984. This group was housed and taught at Kaptagat Hotel since the new campus location had no buildings. The University Act of 1984 was repealed and replaced by the Universities Act No. 42 of 2012. The university is located in Kesses, 35 kilometers from Eldoret Town and 310 kilometers northwest of Nairobi, the capital city of Kenya. Mo University has expanded tremendously over time and this can be attributed to the commitment of the entire Mo University fraternity, government investment, strategic partnership and the visionary leadership of the university council and management who enabled change at a pace and on a scale never experienced before in the country. Since 1984, the university has experienced phenomenal growth, leading to the establishment of several constituent colleges across the country, many of which have since grown to fully-fledged universities, namely Maseno University, Masinde Muliro University of Science and Technology, Masai Mara University, University of Kabianga, University of Eldoret, Karatina University, and Rongo University. As facilities were developed and needs were recognized, new schools were added, namely science, education, arts and social sciences, business and economics, agriculture and natural resources, information sciences, human resource development, engineering, medicine, public health, nursing, dentistry, law, tourism, hospitality and events management, aerospace sciences and biological and physical sciences. Recently, the intent to harmonize programs and optimize available scarce human resources, the university re-established the School of Postgraduate Studies and moved programs previously under the School of Human Resource Development to the School of Information Sciences and School of Business and Economics. The former School of Human Resource Development has since been converted into the Institute of Entrepreneurship and Development Studies.
from 83 students in 1984, the university currently has a student population of about 50,000 with a staff component of 3,000 being both academic and administrative. Currently, the university has two constituent colleges, namely Bomet University College and Alupe University College in Busia County. It also has two campus colleges, College of Health Sciences within Eldoret Town and Odera Akango Campus College in Yala Town. In addition, the university has satellite campuses strategically located across the country to bring university education closer to the communities in line with the Vision 2030 as follows. Kitale Campus, Nairobi Campus, Coast Campus, Eldoret West Campus and Annex Campus located about 5 kilometers from Eldoret Town. More University serves about 50,000 students via on-site and off-site courses in 147 degree programs offered by the institution's 15 schools. Students come to more University from 17 countries and all the 47 counties in Kenya. Many of the university's graduates are absorbed nationally and internationally and contribute further to the educated workforce that helps to fuel the economy and quality of life in our country and beyond. The graduates we produce in the various programs are uh, acknowledged by the employers as perhaps the best uh, that this country can produce in those fields. You are watching Driving in London, a special report on the experiences of Kenyans I've met. The media is full of them. I think every media house, from KBC to KTN to uh, Nation TV, the citizen, uh, you know, these uh, particular media houses are actually uh, full of our, our graduates. The industry knows that uh, the, when the students finish here, they don't get that so-called cultural shock when you get to the industry and you don't, you just find things you didn't expect at all. The university boasts of 1,000 faculty members, 58 and 82 being full professors and associate professors respectively. Included among our faculty are winners of national and international fellowship and awards. The university's current funded research totals 1.8 billion Kenyan shillings. The School of Medicine ranks second among the eight public medical schools for research expenditures in Kenya. The research performed by the faculty is unlocking the fundamental mechanism of HIV and AIDS in Ampath, cancer in Chandaria Center, heart diseases among others. The impact of the university's healthcare delivery to Kenyan citizens and communities in the North Rift, Western and Nyanza regions of Kenya is exemplified by the more than 160 60,000 outpatient visits and consultations that are performed each year by our faculty, staff and students at Moi Teaching and Referral Hospital. In addition to the university's entrepreneurial activities and its contribution to training our workforce for Kenya, more university also has a major impact on the country's economy. The university currently employs more than 3,000 faculty and staff, the economic benefits being manifested in the rapid development of Eldoret Town and its environs. The AMPATH and other grant projects have a staff establishment of 3,000, whereas Rivertex employs 400 full-time employees whose income is a major boost to the economic performance of Uasingishu County. We also competed and bidded for the digital literacy program in Kenya and uh, came out uh, along with Jomo Kenyatta University. Uh, we have, uh, we're supplying the country 26 counties with uh, tablets and other gadgets for primary schools under the DOP program of the government. The recent award of the tender by the Kenya government to the university in conjunction with its external partners for the supply of tablets and laptops to 26 out of the 47 counties in the country is estimated to cost 17 billion Kenyan shillings. The spin-offs will contribute to the economy of the county in addition to the accrued benefits to the county's economy. 
In the recent past, we have uh, bidded and competed for World Bank funding. Uh, and now we are declared the center of excellence for uh, phytochemicals and uh, textiles and energy in Africa. The university also won the AC2 Tanda in the area of textile technology for the schools of physical and biological sciences in engineering worth 600 million Kenyan shillings. Mo University has physical facilities for instruction in the 15 schools, albeit constrained physical facilities against student numbers. This include classrooms, laboratories, lecture halls, residential hostels, recreational facilities, administrative space, among others. The university has fully embraced ICT, particularly in financial, library information management systems and students' accommodation. There is continued progress towards achieving a fully integrated university information management system. The university has undertaken major works in ICT infrastructure which has improved internet and intranet connectivity with high speed in all campuses. We are aspiring to see this university become one of the best not just in Kenya, but in Africa and in the world. Under the stewardship of Acting Vice-Chancellor Professor Labanahiro, the university has also undertaken several development projects, including completion of 2250 hostels in main campus, ongoing construction of PDN building at College of Health Sciences, and construction of the School of Law Library at Annex Campus with a seating capacity of 2,000. Construction of science building, construction and operationalization of Ilimu Mills, acquisition and renovation of Rivertex East Africa Limited and student recreational fields. I want more university to stand again. <laughs> this is a mission I am prepared to give my last drop of blood. Our first project to think about the gates, the wall. The latest university projects are construction of a perimeter wall around the main campus, erection of high rise floodlights, construction of modern main gate at main campus, construction of four 500 seater capacity lecture halls, and the state of the art 6,000 seater capacity ultra modern amphitheater. This is meant to give the institution a major first lift and position it as a world-class university. I did my bachelor's degree in communication and journalism from the School of Human Resources. Uh, one thing I could say about MOI is that it, it equips the learner with the out-of-classroom skills. Mo University Alumni Association was established under the Mo University Act of 1984. Currently, the university enjoys 999,675 alumni membership from 1985 to 2017, who are currently serving nationally and internationally in various professional capacities. Members are qualified personalities who maintain a sense of self-respect, discipline and institutional loyalty, national and international patriotism. The university seeks to have the alumni to partner in its development agenda, especially at the crucial of increasing demand for higher education. It's a university with a determined future and Kenyans' best kept secret. The university is a great institution human resource uh, uh, capacity building. My experience in Mo University is what uh, really brought me to where I am today. My faculty, that is information sciences, shaped my career as a journalist. In that faculty, we got exposed to skills and knowledge that make a good journalist. According to the ratings, you would find that Mo University has, of course, the best professors and uh, PhD holders who are academicians in, the, in this university. Alumni members are expected to have moral responsibility and obligation and to be good ambassadors of Mo University locally and internationally. The association strongly believes that an alumnus is a powerful stakeholder with personal investment and interest in the university and its welfare. 
father and alumnus is more university in the community.